Okay, welcome again for the next round on encrypting a file. Last time I stopped after navigating to the file and getting the file and I presented the file in my app under the mobile segment or the mobile section of that app. You were able to see two items, SUV, JPG and full JPG. So today I'm going to continue from where I stopped. I was able to show the file was actually in my car. So since you are quite, uh, you're acquainted with that, I will go ahead and open up that same one again. Now we're actually going to do the encryption and then we're going to send it out by email or SMS and to see if, uh, what happens. Then it will follow with another video to continue and to make you understand what's going on. Well, we put on the passphrase again to continue, uh, which always going to be the same thing. Yep, dollar sign. I can actually show it to you again. They always been the same thing. If I'm wrong, correct me. So we're going to put our thumb on here as SUV and we're going to do encrypt. And you see, as you can see, it encrypted. To tell you that it did encrypt, you have, you're going to see an extension of LDN. There's no system in the world that can understand that extension at LDN as yet, okay? So we're working on this. In the future, we have it in such a way that you can easily tell that it's, it's done. We give you a provision of create, creating your own folders and seamlessly doing all kind of stuff on here. That's our goal. That's the reason why we are asking you to contribute and support us. Remember, this is going to be free for you for up to TMB, so you can't beat that, you know. So support us, okay? So you've seen that I have encrypted this. And what's next? Let's see if we can email this as fast as we can, uh, as fast as we could. We know where the file is, so let's go ahead and do it, okay? So now we can also SMS it if we want. So let's see how it plays out. So we go to here. We know where we put it. It's under lockdown. Okay. We had a folder that encrypted folder. You know, it's there. Okay. So I really recommend when you encrypt something and you know the password to delete the original encrypted one. These approach will be done automatically if you support us. Okay. So this is it here. When we encrypted, you can you can see the extension there. And you can rename it. But I, I don't recommend that you rename it because if you do, you're going to mess things up. So basically, what you want to do is you want to share it, okay? From here, all the integrated stuff that I have is I have a bar scripter, I have email, I have Gmail. So I can integrate it these ways. But there are other many other ways to um, that could be it could be integrated. So you can send it across. You can Bluetooth it. You can do all kind of stuff with it. But this time we got you. Ju we just gonna send an email. Okay, let's send an email to me. Email goes out and it comes back to me. Okay, so it's J underscore. This is gonna be me right here, and it's gonna be a test. I'm not sure if it's gonna be sent right away okay but let's see what happens okay I'm not sure if we're gonna receive it right away before that my minutes run run out on the video programmer that I'm using okay I have about oh, 16 minutes it's gonna run out in a minute in a bit oh uh, yeah it's gonna run out I have about 16 seconds it's gonna run out in a bit so in the next video I'm gonna show you what happened to that email was sent okay so what you take it home this time is that we did encrypt it and we saw what it looks like when it was encrypted okay so we also noticed that the folder that was encrypted is kind of funny looking like this and when you try to open it it will say the file format is not supported so because nobody understands the LDN for now so we continue from here. Thank you and have a nice day.